Back at the Lions Den for boys basketball. Varsity action. Sweet Lions hosting the Rocky Ford Melanias. Just getting under play in the first quarter. for it on the free throw line. minutes burned in the first quarter. Darwin Duran with the two points for the Lions. Bowserman with two. Now at the free throw line. Swink up four to three. Thank you. 
Hunter Reynolds under the basket with two for Swink. Six to three, Lions over the Mountaineers here in the first quarter. Where'd it go? Hunter fouled under the basket again. The second time at the free throw line. 414 left in the first quarter. Link increases their lead, seven to three. There we go. Hunter rocking it two for two there. Eight to three. Lions in the lead. the lead, seven points over the Rocky Ford Melaneers. Still in the first quarter of play here at the Lions game, our first varsity contest of the season for the boys. Kevin Anderson putting up some points. Ten to six. Swing with a four-point lead.
looking at clothes. Stuff. Quarter. Swink with a four point lead, 10 6. Oh. And they're just oh. plenty of attempts there, just couldn't deliver. Nate Cabrera puts up a couple points and takes the foul, stepping to the foul line. wrestling to get that shot off and just missing. Oh, and Rocky right in the mix. It's a steal, Tevin Anderson back there. Tevin Romero back to Anderson. Just under 30 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Swing up 14. Rocky Ford at six on the board. It's kind of been a high fouling game so far. Swing cheerleaders make a noise.
go, getting underway with the second quarter of action. There's the Lions then. Melaniers are on the court. Getting underway in the second quarter of action. And Miner lets it slip over his shoulder but recovers. Another two. 23 8 now. Just under six minutes left in the second quarter.
Smith there, running the clock down. possession. Still wild on that pass. Takes it out of bounds. Rocky Ford at 8. Sweet 26. We've got just under 4 minutes left in the second quarter. Bowserman again with another two points. 28 to 8. We can increase their lead to a 20 point lead here in the second quarter. Yeah, oh. baby, yeah! Oh boy, they just got. with the steel.
30 to 8. Lions over Melonears. Oh. There it is. Melonears putting a couple points on the board. Three of them, in fact, 11 to 30. Miner getting stripped under the basket there. Pellucci subs in for Miner. Oh, he's got to look which one that is. That's Justin. Of course, his brother Nick there, 22. quarter, first half here, and Luis drives it in, oh, doesn't make the layup though, Luis tries to pick it up for him, picks up a foul, and the Rocky Ford picked up the foul there. Justin Pellucci going to make a second attempt. We've got the substitutions made. Luke Hannigan in for Swink. There we go. Pellucci puts it down. Another point for the Lions. 32 to 11. Excuse me. 33 to 11. Oh. 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 Pellucci brothers under the net. Both just barely miss it. There we go. Rocky puts some points on the board. 13 to 33. Under a minute left now in the sec in the first half. Here we go. Oh, Hannigan takes the shot. Pellucci with the rebound and the score. 35 13 Lions over Meloneers. Oh. Eight seconds left. Better hustle, Lions. Hannigan makes the shot at the buzzer, but falls short. The Lions close out the first half with a commanding lead, 35 over 13. So here's how we do it, folks. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the second half on Seaco Sports. Back at the Lions, in for the second half of action, hosting the Rocky Ford Meloneers. Varsity basketball underway. Swink with the lead, 37 over 13. They just put up two more points to open up the quarter. We're in the third quarter of play. Rocky Ford trying to catch up from a 24-point lead here. J.P. Muro. 
putting up a point for the Melodinas. Nereo. Try to pronounce them right here for you folks. JP. Not able to do it a second time. We'll see if he can go a third. Nope, one for three at the free throw line. The Lions returning to action here. Bowserman to Bellucci to Cabrera. Oh, Bellucci just fighting for it. Alderman and Torres just wrestling over it there. Pulls off the layup for Rocky Ford, putting two more points on their side of the board. 16-37, a 19-point difference now. Six minutes left in the third quarter of action. Point guard Nate Cabrera holding it back here. Dishing it out to Bowserman. To Duran, who takes the shot and misses. Pelucci tries to recover, but ends up wrestling there with JP Murillo. Nineteen to thirty-seven now. Lions still with the lead. Senior Ben Miner passes to Bowserman to Cabrera. Cabrera to Duran. And Bowserman tries his second attempt there. Unsuccessful. And a third attempt even. Looks like a foul was called on the play. Hunter Bowserman's opportunity to put up a couple more points from the free throw line. And the first one's good. Giving them that 20 point lead again. Ooh. Smith and Garland meeting each other shoulder to shoulder, look like. Who's 
Lucky Ford with the ball. We've got four minutes left here in the third period. And a travel call. Moves the direction of play. Back to the Lions possession. Cabrera bringing it in. Bowserman. The minor for the shot off the backboard. Rocky Ford Smith driving it there with the fast break. And he pulls off the shot, but looks like there's a man down for the Meloneers. He's okay. Okay, boys, who's bringing it in? It's like Hunter Reynolds. Pass it in to Pellucci, or excuse me, to Cabrera. Smith getting through with the ball again. The Meloneers making a second shot from the free throw line. Reynolds with the rebound. Cabrera bringing it down. Bowserman taking a shot at it. And Smith with Rocky Ford recovering. 38-21 in the third quarter. Just under three minutes of play left. They've held it for the duration of the game. There we go. Smith gets in there for two points, and he takes a foul. Go, Hunter. Forty to twenty-three. Lions with the advantage here in the third. Two minutes to go this quarter. Rocky Ford's Joshua Smith at the free throw line. And he puts it in for a point for the Meloneers. Looks like we've got a 30 second timeout.
we go. Swing Snake Cabrera bringing it down and trying to get it to a teammate, which he does. There you go, B. Oh. Hunter Reynolds with the two points after many attempts. 42 to 24. Lions ahead. There you go, G. Smith just driving past him again. Stepped into the foul there on Sweet Senior. Again, Joshua Smith at the line for the Meloneers. Trying to close that gap. 42 to 24. <laughs> And another point. He's doing pretty good on those free throws. No, 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 no. 42-25. There you go. That's a good pass. Ben Miner trying for that layup. Melaneers with possession. Okay, we got a minute timeout, looks like. Of course, you can find sports coverage from around the valley on Tico Sports. Jared Spera, TC Valdez, both helping with that. You can see the photos from TC from the football season for the Lions. I saw Michelle's here behind the lens again. up that one minute time out and getting set to wrap up the third quarter of action just under a minute of play left to Reynolds. Oh, and Rocky Ford got the ball. JP with the steal there.
10 seconds left. Rocky Ford's got the ball with four seconds to go. You better put it up. There we go, closing out the third quarter of action. Swink Lions over the Rocky Ford Melonaires, 42 to 25. And the cheerleaders are making noise. with the fourth quarter of action, opening the varsity season for the Swink Lions basketball team hosting the Rocky Ford Melonaires. Eight minutes of action to go. We'll see if Rocky Ford can close the gap. 42 to 35. For the wild shot there. They weren't able to sink it. Rocky Ford bringing it back. Anderson not sure where to go with it, so he takes the shot and he makes the three. <laughs> we'll take it, huh? 28 42. Lions with the lead. Garland just not quite landing that layup. <laughs> Taking the foul while making that fast break. Get him some more time guaranteed in the paint for free throws. Oh. Yeah. You gotta make that. There we go. I guess I misspoke on the free throws. Oh, off the rim. Oops. There we go, trying to keep up here. The trick is, is I want to be... Oh! Come on, ref! Lost his foot. Just under six minutes in the last quarter of play. Lions up 42, Meloniers at 28. It's like the Meloniers. Add to it. Tino Torres, senior, 
adds another point to the Rocky Ford board. 30 to 42. They knocked that 20 point lead down to get the 12 point lead here in the last two quarters. So Melanie is trying to grind away here and keep the Lions from doing more damage. Oh. Two on one under the basket there. Hunter Bowserman takes the foul and takes the opportunity at the free throw line. Ref Natalie says two shots. There's number one. And it's good. 43 to 30. See if Bowserman can repeat. Nope, Rocky with that rebound. He recovers. Cabrera's all over him. And Anderson's back into the corner. Gets it out to a teammate, but they take a travel call. Cabrera getting around him and taking the shot. He doesn't make it. Bowserman rebounds. And Rocky Ford recovers and makes another drive. Torres pass Cabrera right over the top of the roof. underway in the Lions game and we'll get back to action. Just over four minutes left in the game. A 13 point game here. The Lions with the lead over the Melaneers for the duration of the game. Opening up their varsity season here in Swing. Of course you can find more sports from Seco Sports on the Seco News YouTube channel. got just over a couple million views on that YouTube channel. Rather popular. See all seasons of sports coverage on our YouTube. Here we go, getting back underway. In the Lions then. Cabrera bringing it in. Cabrera, and he scores. Two points, breaking it up to 45 to 30, a 15 point difference and a four minute game. Oh. Nate rebounds, but takes the foul, pushing. Oh, 
gets past him, but passes it right to Rockefeller Anderson. And Hubble Bowserman's able to steal it away and put it down for two more points. 47-30. Swink increases their lead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garland steals again. Lays it up for two more. 49-30. Swink Lions. Three and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter of play. Forty-nine thirty Lions over the Meloniers. Just a couple more minutes left. Back at the line for the Meloniers. Going to toss a couple free throws. Missing the first one. Got a long ways to go. A 19 point difference. Nope. Missed that opportunity. Stop Bowserman from making the layup at the cost of a foul. <laughs> now it's a 20 point difference, 50 to 30. Swink over Rocky. Bowserman adds another point. 51-30. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just lost the camera there. Lucci to Cabrera. Cabrera bringing it down to Bowserman. Bowserman attempts. Oh, no! Misses. Garland makes the rebound. And Rocky Ford recovers. That's a travel. Oh. Just under two and a half minutes of play left. 51-30. Lions over the Meloneers. Follow it. Oh. Jump.
Algerman to Pellucci to Cabrera to Pellucci back to Cabrera Pellucci drives it in and loses it Rocky Ford Smith who loses it in turn to Bowserman. It's a slippery ball here for the last couple minutes it looks like. Smith with the shot doesn't make it. Nate chucks it down to Pellucci who gets the ball stripped from him and the foul. Now that was a solid foul. That was a solid foul. <laughs> there we go. Lucci puts it down. Another point on the board for the Lions, 52 to 30. Just a minute 47 left in play. Quite sure what we had happening. Looks like Smith is taking another round at the free throw line, removing his teammates. <laughs> another point for Rocky Ford. He's doing really well at the free throw line tonight. He's had a couple opportunities. And Smith nails another one. Twenty point game, 52-32 the Lions over the Meloneers. Just over a minute left in the fourth quarter. Anderson puts it up but doesn't make it. Swing senior Ben Miner getting through. 
through the mid court there. Luke Hannigan passing back over. And back to Miner. He takes the shot but doesn't make the layup. Rocky Ford Smith just walks up and takes that shot but doesn't quite sink it. Twenty-nine seconds of play left. Fifty-two thirty-two. Miner skirts past him and hand delivers it. Doesn't quite get it in the basket though. Fourteen seconds left in the game. Anderson is kind of skipping across the court with it. Hey, there we go. Rocky got a couple points on the board. And that's our ball game. Swink 52 over Rocky Ford 34 with your Southeast Colorado Sports on Seco Sports from the Lions Den in Swink, Colorado. I'm Adrian Hart.